Hello friends, welcome to a brand new video. So today I am bringing you guys on a little tour later in this video through World Market to see just what kind of stuff they have. I have not been in there in so long and also see what kind of stuff they have for spring and then I'll add in a little haul later on in the video. I also will be sharing a charcuterie board with you guys, some spring plant-based charcuterie board ideas. This is going to be perfect if you are hosting or entertaining this year for Easter coming up, maybe also for Mother's Day, Father's Day, or even any kind of like spring or summer hosting or entertaining. I always feel like charcuterie boards are the perfect thing, especially as the weather gets warmer and we can just pick on some light, fresh foods, keep it very easy, neat, fresh, and fun, and also kind of healthy. <laughs> I know that charcuterie boards are traditionally like meats and cheeses, and I always enjoyed doing that when I did used to eat lots of cheese growing up with an Italian family. We definitely ate a lot of cheese. Um, I personally don't eat dairy now, and actually Renee has kind of some allergies to dairy, so for us, we're going with the plant-based options, but feel free to use whatever you want to use and hopefully this will just give you some ideas. These would be really nice little like gift stocking stuffers or gift basket fillers, maybe for Mother's Day. Anybody that likes baths, how adorable are these bath bombs? Oh my Super God. guacamole. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's strawberry. a strawberry. This is so cute. I never thought that I would find a mushroom necklace to be actually really pretty. Oh, it's not that expensive either. This dried flower is also really pretty. Lots of basket choices. So these are a pretty interesting picture frame. World Market has lots of unique food choices. <laughs> Got lots of olive choices here. Wow. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Your, your mom needs one of these to like with a top to keep Kenzie from stealing her coffee. <laughs> All right, I have a question. Two little serving bowls here, $4.99, $7.99. But which one do you guys like the style of better? Especially if you were serving a bunch of little things. I don't know if just white would look better. I think this one's really cute, but overall, maybe the white one's just like a cleaner aesthetic for, you know, serving like the little side dishes in or even for like cereal or whatever.
good morning. I wanted to give you a little world market haul now of some of the things that we actually picked up there. So first thing here are these little kitchen sponges. I thought they were super cute. It's definitely not as tough as the scrub daddy sponge. So this is better for like your basic kitchen sponge, but they are super cute. I love the colors really fun for spring and summer. I picked up this for Renee. I thought that this was just very much her style and aesthetic. It has some assorted chocolates in here from Belgium and I just thought it was super cute. I found one of these coffee mugs and it was $6.99. I feel like that's a little bit pricey, but it's microwave safe, it's dishwasher safe. It's a really good size, so I have a feeling Mike is gonna use this one even more than me because it's like a nice, good size mug, but I will definitely use it, if not for coffee, for soup, or you could even use it for cereal. Just, I love a good mug like this, and I thought the colors were so pretty. While Kylie's outside, I'm gonna show you what I picked up. These little chocolates for her, and then this one for my nephew. So I had Kylie actually choose this one, and she thought he would really like this cute little bunny. We also picked up some extra virgin olive oil. I thought this one was a really good price, but now I'm realizing maybe it's not a cold pressed one and that's why it was like a little bit cheaper. We picked up some garlic stuffed olives, which these all have like a seasoning in them. These Italian olives, I have buttery and tender from Sicily. So I don't think I've, I don't know if these are just regular green olives, but those are like Spanish olives. These are Italian. So curious to try these. I think they're a little bit different. And then also these Italian olives, rich and crisp from Poglia. Not sure how you say that, but we were excited to try some olives. And last but not least, I do not have a apron. So decided to get one. I thought this was cute. It's very springy. For a long time, I couldn't find what I liked, but I do like this one a lot. So I'll leave links for whatever I can down below if you want to find any of these and order them online. Most of them are available for shipping, I think, if that helps you. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. So I've got my squash here. They're definitely ready to replant. They look super dry. So I think we'll get them in the ground and then give them a good watering. I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me. A little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down When it's gray outside It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Ooh, I wonder So this St. Augustine grass grows like some kind of wild animal. It spreads out and like keeps putting roots down as it spreads, it's pretty crazy. So I took three green onions and you guys can see right here where I cut them off and look how much they've grown back in literally, I don't know, just a few days. It's only been a few days just sitting in some water in our kitchen. So. The fact that they've grown back from where I cut them right there that much, I think it's time to plant them. So let's go ahead and move on to making our charcuterie board now. I love adding some hummus on here. I'm going with the everything hummus. We love these simple mills. Um, almond flour, they're gluten-free crackers, the rosemary and sea salt, and this sun-dried tomato and basil are our personal favorites. I love to make a nice homemade spinach and bean and garlic dip, but if I'm not able to do that, don't have the time, want something quicker, here is an option with this Primal Kitchen plant-based 
dairy-free queso dip. All right, let me see how this tastes. I have not actually tried this one before. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that's delicious. It's not spicy or it has a very little bit like a mild spice. It definitely tastes like it has um, red peppers in it to me. Yeah, it does have red bell peppers, but this is actually really good. I am impressed. Now, something I have not tried before are these plant-based deli slices. They are hickory smoked, but I thought we could try to do something cute and add them in. And apparently my storage filled up and it stopped recording on me. So you didn't see the part where I rolled the slices, but I basically folded them in half and then rolled them up into little rosettes and put some of them in inside of these pickle slices, kind of wrap the pickle around them and use the toothpick to hold them together. And they make a yummy snack. So I found these at Whole Foods. They are a grain-free tortilla chip and they are dairy-free with a nacho flavor. So they have a very light um, nacho flavor. They're not gonna be as strong as, for example, like something like Doritos would be, but I think they're a great addition. If you're looking for some healthier options and you're trying to find things that are either gluten-free or dairy-free. I also wanna add some nuts and I decided to add some macadamia nuts. Obviously any nuts would work for this. I thought it would be fun to just kind of add something that at least for us, is not something that we have on a everyday basis. We actually rarely have the macadamia nuts, so I thought it'd be fun to add some. And also add something a little bit sweet with these chocolate covered peanut butter bites. They are a coconut cookie. Adding in some fresh fruit is also always a great option and a great way to add some color into your charcuterie board. So fresh fruit is always a must for me to add in. It just adds such a nice pop of color and really brings everything together. Now, I also think that we need to add some olives and these are the ones that I found in World Market. I'm also gonna add in some black olives and we can certainly add in some Kalamata olives as well. So while you guys are watching, I need to know, do you like olives? And if you do, or if you don't, what are your um, most, and least favorite type of olives. I know growing up, I used to not like the Spanish olives with the pimentos that my dad would always get those. We also had the black olives all the time and I loved the black olives, but the Spanish ones were always a little bit interesting, a little bit stronger. But then as I got older, I started to actually really love those olives. And then I also discovered other ones like these larger green olives that have like garlic in them. Also the ones that even have almonds in them, which is really interesting. I really like how these particular ones add like a nice little pop of green to the tray. Green is always going to really make your tray pop any bright colored fruit and anything green. So I did buy some green grapes and then unfortunately I ordered them and they were all kind of a bit yucky. So I might not add them in here. They just don't look that good. So I don't think they're gonna help us out by adding them to the mix. Adding some asparagus spears on here would be really nice or even some sushi rolls. And if you do asparagus and you want, um, it could be something fresher where you just lightly cook them and steam them. Or if you wanted, you could also do something a little bit more savory by wrapping your asparagus with little pieces of crescent roll like the Pillsbury crescent rolls or something like that, and sprinkling on a little bit of garlic powder on top. That's always a delicious little warm, savory treat as well. So I asked Mike to come out and do a little olive taste test with me since we want to find out if what we like. Should we start with the, maybe the plainer ones first? Sure. These say they are buttery and tender from Sicily. They're an Italian olive. I have pets? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're similar to the black olives, mm -hmm. right? Like they're really mild. <laughs> I feel like we'd have to watch this like with Kylie or something though, because they do have the, they do have pits in them. All right, let's try this one. This is longer. Yeah, a longer shape. Mm -hmm. I'm like afraid to bite into a pit. It's pitted. Mm-hmm. That's a really light flavor. They're very similar. The pit looks like a little almond or something. <laughs> <laughs> Now for the garlic one. All right, let's so try the garlic one. 
sure. So what is your favorite kind of olive? The garlic, garlic stuff? Right ones? there. Make sure you let me know down below, what are your favorite types of olives? Do you hate olives? Do you love them? If you like olives, definitely let me know what's your favorite type. Mm. Right there. Lots of flavor. Wow. <laughs> wow. So these had their Greek olives. Let's take this. <laughs> A lot of flavor. Super good. We just got some mugwort rice cake from the Korean store yesterday, and we've actually already eaten most of them. But I feel like this is like a definite thing that we should include because they're very delicious. They're like easy to serve. You could pick them up already prepared for you if you wanted. Just, I mean, yeah, that's what I would do. I don't know how to make them, <laughs> but we get them every time we're at the Korean store and they're really good. They have a sweet red bean filling and I would highly recommend adding some rice cake or some sushi or even some mochi. You could do frozen ones if you want. So adding in some of these Carrot chips will be a really nice way to add a pop of color. Plus they're going to be delicious with either the queso dip or with the hummus. I also found this garlic and herb cashew milk cheese and I thought this would make a great addition as well. And personally, I would love to add some guacamole in here. I think for today's video, I'm not gonna be making guacamole right now, but some homemade dips if you have a favorite salsa, a favorite maybe spinach, garlic, bean dip. There's a lot of them on Pinterest. I have shared my favorite recipe before, um, even like a cowboy caviar recipe with corn, beans, lime juice, cilantro, tomatoes, cucumber, avocado. Those are gonna all be super delicious to add either mini cups of, or something with a spoon that people could add on their dish and then just kind of eat with some tortilla chips. I'm also gonna add in some of these sweet red bean cakes with rice flour. I think this will be a nice little addition as well. Some gluten-free pretzel crisps. And definitely guacamole is always a great mix. I do love looking for ways to add color though and adding in whether it be cucumbers, carrots, little tiny cherry tomatoes like I have here. I thought the carrot chips added like a nice texture and they'll be really great for dipping. I love the idea of adding some fresh bread, fresh baguette on here, maybe some sourdough. You can also pick up some bars of dark chocolate. I got this one with the cranberries and almonds. If you guys hear some shouting and yelling in the background, the kids are having a fun time outside playing. I happen to have a couple packages of these little strawberry wafers and personally, I don't like them, but Mike does like these little cookies. So I thought, you know what? Why not add a few onto our board since I have them? And also I had these jelly beans that are left over and these are from when we decorated our little bunny houses. So I think I'm gonna add the jelly beans as well since this is supposed to be a spring or Easter um, charcuterie board. Mike just went to the store and he was able to pick up some green grapes for us. So hooray, thank you, Mike. I think that grapes add an amazing colorful touch. And we don't wanna just have the candy sweets, we wanna have the fruit sweets. So I love doing a charcuterie board for an at-home date night, for a family movie night, family or friends over, a little get together, game night. It's just the perfect snack or appetizer idea. Trader Joe's has a tomato eggplant garlic and onion, I think it has tomato in it. It's a really yummy spread, and you could certainly toast up some of these and use that like a bruschetta spread. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have the lights on now because the sun is setting, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed these DIY charcuterie board ideas, all of the vegan and plant-based options. Let me know down below, do you enjoy doing charcuterie boards and what are your favorite things to add into one? I love hearing what you enjoy adding. And as always, I'm wishing you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye.